uh, impromptu reading of uh, an article that has come out in regards to yesterday's story that I that I did. It was it was the longer segment that I talked about, which is basically Congress was was more more interested in posturing themselves um, than they were in uh, in actually solving the problem at hand. Um, and uh, as of, I guess, 2.20 a.m., this is an NPR report that I'm going to uh, kind of read some, some sections of. Um, they have come to an agreement, uh, I guess. Once again, I, I do want to point out that uh, uh, we, as the American people, um, were not at the negotiating table. Uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell and I, I would say about 80 percent of Congress, um, they are not our representatives. They are representatives of the corporate elites. They are the representative of uh, the, the bank, the banking industry, the fossil fuel industry. Um, they are uh, the representatives of the oligarchs that has that have bought them out. Um, that's what they are, because again, I I want to remind people that the the moment that Trump came out and said we need to give direct payments to Americans, uh, which was earlier last week, I think Monday or something um, last week, he he might have said something along those lines. The 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 Democrats were the ones that came out and said, no, we can't give these direct checks to people, to regular average working class people who are going to be suffering the most. Uh, we have to give small business loans so that they can keep their payrolls active. Um, and you know what uh, people don't want when they're not making any money and when their business is basically in trouble is a motherfucking loan that they need to pay back when all this is over. So it, again, as I mentioned yesterday, all these plans that they were coming out with were had zero foresight, zero fucking foresight at all. Um, so uh, now they've kind of come up uh, with, the, you know, and then and then the Republicans came out and basically said, yeah, OK, we'll do this loan thing um, and we'll basically give the poorest of Americans virtually nothing um, in terms of this stimulus that we're going to pump out. You know, it's like fifteen hundred dollars if, if you made this much based on your tax filings from 2018 but if you don't have a tax filing or didn't make enough money to file taxes then you get this very low amount of money like the the most vulnerable in our community get the least amount of help uh which makes absolutely no motherfucking sense at all but that's the way that they, they've decided that government should operate right anyway um then they the 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 democrats came back and were like wait a minute no we don't like this plan anymore, right? So it just became this posturing battle, um, and uh, and as of yesterday, it, they were they were going back to the original thing of giving direct checks to America, which was again Tulsi Gabbard and Andrew Yang. Um, Andrew Yang popularized the idea of universal basic income, um, giving direct checks, direct direct money to Americans, um, and uh, Tulsi Gabbard was the one that came up with the emergency UBI. And then you had Bernie Sanders that came up with a point-by-point -point plan of how you uh, make sure that your economy stays active um, in a time of crisis and then after the time of crisis. Um, and then uh, how, um, how healthcare and basically all these other industries involved with and surrounding the healthcare, uh, healthcare industry should act. So he made a point-by-point -point plan so all these outsiders came up with these plans, and now it's just like the corporate Democrats are co-opting these plans because uh, they see that they, this is an election year and somebody needs to say that one of these parties is good when neither of these parties is fucking good. So, um, yeah, so here's, here's, uh, here's what the article says. The Trump administration and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced early Wednesday that at the White House and uh, that the White House and Senate has reached a deal for the uh, an unprecedented two trillion dollar spending package aimed at propping up individuals, businesses, and the nation's healthcare system amid the onslaught of the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Um, unprecedented is the key word there. Unprecedented 
this is only unprecedented because it's literally the first time that that Congress is taking people into account beyond platitudes, and they're actually like forced to do something about it. Um, so uh, McConnell appeared on the Senate floor to say that he had good news. Uh, McConnell said of the legislation, in effect, it's wartime level of investment, adding that it would come up for a vote later Wednesday. The Senate will reconvene at noon. Uh, war, th this is a wartime level investment. Why, why is it that these sort of investments are only made during wartime? Where we're like, oh, we need to pump up people. Is like, oh, when we need to go to war, that's when we need to like, make sure people are taken care of because this thing is probably going to fuck the economy over. <laughs> the, the only time we've ever seen going to war actually be beneficial for the economy in any, any way um, was World War II, and that was like a completely different set of circumstances uh, than, uh, than, than what we have now. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer followed... McConnell on the Senate floor saying we have a bipartisan agreement of the largest rescue package in American history, uh, not a moment of celebration, but one of necessity. Yeah, it's been necessary to do something like this if if this is even what we've actually been discussing, right? If it if this is even something that um, is something that we've been talking about, which is which is an emergency UBI action, which is. Um, allocating more into uh, uh, you know uh, he healthcare funds and taking care of healthcare workers and making sure that we have field hospitals and making sure that we have free testing kits for everybody to. Um, if it is, then yeah, this is one of necessity that needed to be addressed fucking like a month ago, you know, like a month ago it needed to be addressed. Um, Schumer said the deal was meant as a Marshall Plan for hospital and medical needs. Hospitals, which are on the front lines of a wave of new patients that have already strained resources, would get more than $130 billion, while state and local governments would get $150 billion to help cover expenses incurred uh, by the response to the pandemic. So they're okay. So they're basically like, yeah, we need to we need to have more money for uh, this healthcare system, which totally makes sense, and it needs to, it needs to be that way. Uh, the package would also give direct cash payments to most Americans, expand unemployment benefits, and put forth a $367 billion program to help small businesses make payroll, according to the Associated Press. Now, uh, what this doesn't say, and and perhaps we'll get an answer by when, by 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 you know today at some point, um, is uh, is this direct cash payment going to be? Just that it's just going to be a payment untaxed by the government as as a as not a loan. Because if it's a loan that we're going to have to pay back later, even if it's through next year's taxes or something, then this is not really a bailout. This is not really helping the American people. Again, the three hundred and sixty seven billion dollar program to help small businesses to make payroll is that three hundred billion three hundred sixty seven billion dollars. A loan that is going to be granted to small businesses that need it because there's a fuck ton of small businesses. Just just the ones that I know, just the ones that I like go perform at, you know, places like the Church of Satire Comedy Club, the Robin Theater, uh, the Comedy Closet, Teehee's Comedy Club, um, you know, uh, uh, Le Chat Noir, uh, Mothers in Atlanta, like all of these places. Uh, just if you even just go and look at my calendar from like a year ago, all of the places that I performed at are all small businesses. They're all DIY venues. Like they're, and that's just my calendar. You know, like there's so many fucking mom and pop joints, and uh, and and if and if this is just you giving them a loan. To help them out with um, with small business costs, or, or or to make payroll, that's not really helping them out. You gave Wall Street one point five trillion dollars, and then more money after that, where you just made that money up. So you're helping out companies and corporations that don't need help. Don't they're fine? The CEOs of all of these fucking corporations are going to be fine. They don't fucking need help. 
regular average Americans do, right? The people that people that in a month are going to sit there and be like, I have this much money in my account and I have to figure out how to stop XYZ payments and not occur late charges and interest fees for all the payments that I can no longer afford to make. Like this is, if it's a loan, then this is stupid. Every laid off or furloughed worker would have their salary uh, re, re, uh, remunerated. Remunerated is that the way you say that word? I I don't know. If if it's not, just uh, leave a fanatic comment. <laughs> uh, remunerated by the um, by the federal government. Uh, the deal also includes strict oversight, accountability, and transparency of all the loans to corporate America enabled by the legislation. Is it going to be an actual loan or are you just going to give them the money and then be like, oh, don't worry about it. We're just going to address it with tax credits and then lower your tax rate anyway, because that's usually what the fuck happens. The agreement followed days of intense wrangling amid pressure to uh, do a deal quickly as much of the country went into lockdown to contain the spread of the virus and global markets crash. Hmm, it's almost like the global markets are dependent on on us, on people, <laughs> on people taking out loans and being in debt and paying off that debt. Hmm, it's almost like Wall Street and, and the banking system uh, don't fucking matter as much as the people do. Holy shit. Doesn't matter how much money you arbitrarily pump into that system, it's gonna run out anyway. Because we're not spending any money. We don't have any confidence in the fact that if we spend money on things that things like stocks or fucking real estate or or you know, investment accounts or whatever, that it's actually not gonna fucking matter. Hmm. Go figure. Go figure. The sudden move on legislation occurred after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Tuesday that Republicans and Democrats had seemed close to bridging disagreements that had previously stalled the package. Uh, I think there's real optimism we could get something done in the next few hours, Pelosi said to CNBC, despite broad agreement on both sides of the aisle. Uh, that the package was urgently needed ironing out. Uh, the details proved tricky. One of the final sticking points was the size of the government-guaranteed subsidized loans to large, larger industries, including the airlines. Ultimately, the figure arrived at was $500 billion, according to AP. So, so now the airlines, or I guess corporate America, is getting a, a, a $500 billion subsidized loan. And if if our deal as American people is not better than that, uh, yeah, I don't I don't really fucking see us getting um, keeping this system around uh, for too much longer. I mean, fuck, you had you, you had the lieutenant governor of Texas yesterday uh, talking about how people need to sacrifice themselves to the economy like. Do I mean how much more do we need to prove that there there is a religiosity surrounding this shit that that money has now become the religion in America based on this unfettered unregulated capitalistic system that it, that's what it is right like we are now at the stage where it's no longer an economic principle that is meant to help out people, that is meant to decrease poverty, that is meant to decrease suffering in the world, because capitalism in this country hasn't done that. There's, there, there's a vast income, um, income divide. Uh, there, there are a shit ton of homeless people. There are shit tons of people that can't afford a home, that lost their homes. There's a shit ton of poor people in this country that have to work two, three jobs in order to make ends meet and pay all their bills. This is capitalism at work here. And now it's gotten to this religiosity level where we're doing what the Mayans did when they truly didn't understand what the sun wanted, right? And they were like, oh, you know how we keep the sun burning is by sacrificing a bunch of people. That's what the sun wants. The sun wants us to sacrifice a bunch. Look, if that's what you're getting from all of this, then, then we're done. The system is done. Uh, it, once we go into let's, let's make human sacrifices to keep the economy going, uh, I think we need a new economy. 
I think it's probably time that we got a new one. You know, one that didn't work on human sacrifices, maybe, you think? <laughs> Name one time in history that when somebody has asked for a human sacrifice, that everybody's been like, this makes sense. This is the right thing to do. I think even like in the Mayan days, there were probably a couple people that were like, are you sure this is what the sun wants us to do? Kind of seems crazy that the sun, which seems like it's a bajillion miles away, would want us to just kill this random lady. Uh, seems anybody want to say anything about this? No, we're all just going to shut the fuck up and watch this person die on an altar. Like, what a ridiculous statement to make. So we'll see what happens with it. Um, according to this, they're, they're, uh, they've agreed to, uh, you know, help out the American people, giving stimulus checks and so on and so forth. Um, we'll see if that's, if that's actually what they do and when those checks come out, because April 6th was when Trump wanted to get those checks sent out. When, when are you guys going to send it out? April 5th? Because you have to posture again? Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be making daily videos, so make sure you come back to this channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that bell so you're getting the notifications uh, because we are going to be putting up videos every single day uh, keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world, keeping our critical thinking skills uh, up to date as well, uh, talking about some interesting ideas, talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Um, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So, uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to um, creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, do, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com slash donate. There you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons Patreon, Bandcamp, and even PayPal, uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing, and that's if you have the means to do it. I understand that we're all struggling through this time, uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free, and like I said, will be up every single day, and a huge way that you can help uh, is by sharing these out. Uh, hit it, hit it up on your social feeds, on on the on the Twitters and the and the alternative social feeds and the Instagrams and the Facebooks. Just share it around. Tell it, tell as many people as you possibly can. Uh, especially if you enjoy uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel. And once again, make sure that you are subscribed. You hit that like button um, and get uh, get new eyes on this channel. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I, 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 and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um, or has donated, uh, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot, and it helps. Every little tiny bit helps in, uh, in, 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 the, in this time of, of need. So uh, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos.